The next part of the lecture is going to focus on logging into the container and inspecting. If you remember correctly, we had two instructions in the Docker file which had to do with modifying the container which we modifying the image which we obtained from Docker Hub for Apache HTTP. So the first one was to uh, copy a directory. We copied our website directory to use a local Apache 2 HT docs. And we also copied httpd.conf, which we had customized on top of the existing Apache HTTPD image. So we're going to take a look at what happens inside the container. In order to best demonstrate this use case, I'm going to um, get a container ID which is running. So if I do ps-a, it's going to give me all stopped and started containers. And as you can see, I have the container ID which starts with a D8. I'm just going to keep a copy of this. And then what I'm going to do is basically um, go into Docker file and then um, look for these two commands, make sure that I am aware of the directories here. And then I'm going to go to scripts.txt, copy this particular command. I'm going to paste it right here. And then this is the way I can log into the container. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the D8, which is the unique ID. I can actually just do D8 and it should work. I don't even need to do uh, Docker automatically finds out. So as you can see, I'm logged into the container. Now the first thing I want to show you is when I do a ps ef grep one. I'm just going to do one right now because I want to show you the first process ID here. The first process ID is logged in as root and then it starts HTTPD in the foreground. Now remember that every image which you download from Docker Hub or even if the one you create, you are going to have the first process ID as the as uh, uh, what is the default startup script or default container which has to be launched from that image. So in case of Apache HTTPD, we all know that it's it started up as a root and that's process number one. So this may be an interview question in case you're going to get interviewed on Docker. The second thing I want to show you is I'm going to navigate to this directory. Now we copied two files. Uh, if you remember, we copied a directory called pictolearn, which has our website, and we also copied httpd.conf. So let's navigate into this website, uh, this directory here, cd, and as you can see, you see a uh, pictolearn which was copied over when the image was created. And if I go back one step and log into the conf directory, and then you have the httpd.conf, and as you can see, uh, the httpd.conf was copied very recently on March the 13th uh, at 3.06, which is different from the timestamps you see on the other uh, files. And this is very important going forward for debugging, troubleshooting, problem solving. You'll get a better idea of this as we go into the other lectures. But long story short, if I do a cat on httpd.conf and then grep on pictolearn, you're going to see these two lines which basically were modified when we created the image. So going back to this, I'm just going to show you these two lines which were added by us. So what really happened is we downloaded the Apache HTTP image, customized it and created our own image. So these were the two customizations done as a part of this process. Now we'll get into this in more detail as we go into the other use cases. But for now, just know that there is a command for you to execute, to troubleshoot, problem solve. In case you're trying to do this Docker file all by yourself, um, you'll run into issues. This is one of the ways to start debugging. So that's it guys for this lecture. I look forward to seeing you in the next lecture. Thanks.